Let's turn our attention now to baseball. Eau Claire teams thrived on Tuesday. Emmanuel and Regis, though, both have to play again today. Regis on the road at Spring Valley. We skip to the seventh inning. Regis up 3-2. to two. Mason Koska at the plate. He connects. This one's going to leave the park. Adds to the lead. Bottom of the seventh. Some trouble, though. Regis is up 5-2. Spring Valley has the bases loaded. Carter Deppa drives one up the middle. Luke Walke, Braden Bednarik come home. Regis' lead down to one. Spring Valley later with runners on second and third. Two outs, two strikes. There's strike three. Regis hangs on to win five to four. It got really dicey at the end there. He had the winning run on second base and top of the lineup up there. But, um, you know, our pitcher threw an awesome curveball and the game got the froze the guy, got him looking, and here we are. Ramblers will play the winner of this game, Thorpe Gilman and Fall Creek. Second inning, already 2-0 Thorpe Gilman. Jack Searcrack finds grass and center. Ball goes all the way to the wall. Two runs score. Thorpe Gilman builds a 5-0 lead after two frames. Seventh inning, incredible moment here. Ethan Wright was seriously hurt in a car accident last year. He's been working to get into a game. He plays right field for one out. Handshakes from his opponents, hugs from his teammates. Just a great moment and a lot of sportsmanship too. Lots of hugs for Thorpe Gilman. This co-op in its first year is a regional champion. They beat us a few years ago in a regional championship up in Gilman, and uh, he's been here before, and it's one of the greatest feelings in the world right now, just to be here as my second year's head coach for Gilman, and then co-head coach with Thorpe first year. It's, it's, it's great. Emmanuel Lutheran looking for more playoff magic against Boyceville. Top-notch pitching from Boyceville's Walker Retz. He strikes out the side in the fifth inning. He had 13 Ks. He deals a complete game. The Bulldogs score four in the fourth. They add on in the sixth. Connor Semp with a line drive to center. A runner scores from second. And a wild pitch gets away on the next at bat. Trent Joles comes in for another run to seal the game. Boyceville blanks the Lancers 6-0. They will play Independence Gilmanton on Tuesday. Division two, Bloomer at Medford. Fourth inning, 4 nothing Raiders. The Blackhawks with a fly to right, but Nate DeRoyt makes the catch. Defense strong in this game. The Raiders, Caleb Gooden holding Bloomer to just one run on the day, and a diving catch ends it in left. Bloomer falls just short today, 2-1 to one, the final.